Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Friday, February the 1st, 2013 with a stock report. This is the S&P 500. Uh, these are your large cap companies having a great run here. Uh, we confirmed a new rally back here in mid-November and have been running now for about two and a half months. And uh, you can see us pegging along the upper uh, channel line here, uh, just really tearing. Had a couple really big updates here. A little bit of a, a pullback here and following through now. Uh, <coughs> we've had a lot of good accumulation. You'll see these black spiking bars here. That's accumulation. Uh, we did have a distribution day uh, yesterday, uh, which is uh, heavy volume, uh, heavier volume selling, but got support down here along this gray line, which is your 10-day moving average. So, um, you know, eclipsing these previous tops here at about the 1470 level now had a high today of 1514. Uh, so, uh, S&P 500 very strong here. Looking at a weekly chart of the S&P 500, you can see the run here. You can see uh, 1422 made a cup, uh, got a little bit higher to 1574, made a cup, and then broke out of that cup. And we are running right now five weeks in a row. Looking at a weekly chart now of the Dow Industrial Average, your, uh, your large international companies, <coughs> same story, uh, made a cup here uh, with a high of uh, uh, 13338. Uh, and then eclipsed that, uh, stalled out at the 13661 uh, level, pulled back, uh, and now into new high ground here. Uh, this will be the sixth uh, up week in a row uh, if we finish higher, which it looks like we will, uh, up about 1% for the week. So a uh, Dow off and running uh, as well. And when we look now at the NASDAQ composite on a weekly basis, you can see the same story. We have a base on base pattern here. And now we're coming up the right side of this cup and approaching the previous high here at uh, 3196. Uh, so far, we've gotten to 3183. So, so getting close there, um, you'll notice that the S&P 500 and the Dow had eclipsed that previous high on their charts and were off and running higher. So let's see what the NASDAQ can do. The NASDAQ lagging behind those indexes a little bit here. Moving on now to the small cap stocks, this is the Russell 2000 small cap index and you can see like the Dow and like the S&P 500 has gotten above that previous high, uh, got to 91271 uh, after eclipsing this 868 level here and uh, running higher here on, a, on some strong action here following up this four week moving average, this red line here, pegging at the top of the range uh, on each uh, weekly chart here five weeks in a row. So good action on the Russell 2000 as well. So the NASDAQ is the laggard, but stocks in a confirmed rally and moving high.